There's something I need to tell you. As I watched you play, something has changed in me. I feel different. I feel I am someone. I need to leave this place and, and discover who I am. It, it means we won't see each other anymore. I won't be there to watch you play, but I'll be free. Do you agree to let me go? I'll never forget what you've done for me. Thank you. Hello, 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 and welcome back to Detroit Become Human. In the last part, we did Night of the Soul with just Marcus, even though it has all three characters listed there because of the choices I made in Crossroads, where basically Marcus decided that he's going to continue his ideology of a peaceful resistance, and that Connor pledged his loyalty to Marcus and decided that he was going to go infiltrate Cyberlife. So in this chapter, is called The Battle for Detroit. As far as I know, this is the final chapter of the game, which um, hopefully we'll get to see what happened to Kara Al Alice and Luther, we'll get to join Marcus on his peaceful resistance, and we'll get to help Connor infiltrate Cyberlife, and hopefully we won't get him killed. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. At 6 a.m. this morning, a national curfew was declared. Civilian movement will be strictly controlled. The right to assembly is suspended. All electronic communications are restricted, and I have granted enhanced powers to our security agencies. In addition to these measures, all androids must be handed over to the authorities immediately. Temporary camps are being set up in all our major cities to contain and destroy them. I am now asking all civilians to cooperate with the authorities and rest assured that everything in our power is being done to guarantee the security of our nation. Madam President, uh... Madam President! Uh, look at all these people asking questions. Uh, Please. Cyberlife. What's gonna happen to Cyberlife? Will androids be banned definitively? We're working very closely with Cyberlife to neutralize all deviants. I won't make any comments about anything else until we've dealt with the android question. Madam President! Oh, I could ask more. Please! Uh, let's ask about the deviants. Is it true that a large number of deviants are still on the loose? We don't have the full reports at this time, but if so, I can assure you they will soon be apprehended and destroyed. <laughs> Madam President! Let's ask about the deviant leader. Has the leader of the deviants been apprehended? The deviant that is known as Marcus has not been located yet, but we will soon track it down and neutralize it. It. Hmm. Let's see. Let's ask about it. Let's ask, ask about Please. hacking. Oh, oh, there's more. Oh, army. Is it true that androids make up 60% of the armed forces? Is our army still able to ensure our homeland security? Excellent question. We neutralized all military androids the second their reliability came into doubt. We have called the National Guard for reinforcement. Our armed forces are fully operational and are able to ensure our homeland security. Thank you. That will be all. <laughs> oh boy, is this Connor? Must be. Yep. Connor model three one three. Two four eight three one seven. I'm expected. Identification successful. Okay. Go ahead. That's gonna go so bad. I can already tell. How's that train gonna get through with the with that gate? 
<laughs> My goodness. Who designed that building? It looks hor horrific. This is something out of an alien hive mind thing. Totalitarian and beauty free. Hey, Follow fellas. me. We'll escort you. Thanks. But I know where to go. Maybe. But I have my orders. All right. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I need an army. I'm gonna get myself killed trying to get one. Can I look at any of them? No. Agent 54, level 31. Voice recognition validated. Access authorized. Alright, so I need to get to level 49. A negative 49. <laughs> Okay. Hey, no. no. Don't touch that. I wasn't gonna. I hit the wrong button. I'd like to use my scanner, but it won't let me. What does that say? Preconstruct? What about this one? Yeah, I think I'll go for that one. And then this guy right here. Yeah. Kick him right in the waist. Yeah, it worked pretty good. Great. Break his fingers. Anything else? Uh, there's a camera up there. Oh god. It wouldn't let me look at the camera. I don't know if that's gonna be bad if they're gonna see me doing this. Yeah. The camera obviously saw everything that I did. But I can't do anything about it, so... Please indicate your identity and destination. Uh, Agent 54. Agent 54. Level sub 49. <laughs> Voice recognition validated. Access authorized. Oh, God. Where's Luther? Where are they taking us? Somewhere horrible. Uh, are you sure? Whatever happens, we stick together, right? As long as we're together, nothing can hurt us. Oh my goodness. Come on, get out! Get a move on! Out! Oh, they're taking us. It's like an internment camp or whatever. Hands on your heads! Line up with the others right now. Okay. Am I not lined up? Recall center number five downtown. Huh. Fantastic. Forward. I'm scared. Me too. I, I don't want to go. Me neither. There's no choice, Alice. Next. No, Cara. I, I I'm sorry. We'll, we'll get out of here. Reassure. I just have to go through the gate. There's nothing to be scared of. I'll be right behind you. <laughs> I gotta keep her stress level down or she'll explode or something. Uh, shield Alice? Wait, just give her a minute. She's just a little girl. Oh, ow. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm going. Oh, I'm sorry. Got your stress level up there. Uh, 
I suck. <laughs> Come on, I'm the turn. worst mom ever. Oh, we're gonna be recycled. Fantastic. A long journey to end up in a recycling bin. Oh god, could they pay any more, like... Deactivate your skin. Hurry up! Homages to Nazi concentration camps. So they all look the same. Terrible. Please, Kara, don't... We have to. Yeah, has Alice realized that she's not a real person anymore? Or not anymore, but never was. So. Strip off. Put your clothes in the dumpster. This is terrible. This way. Get a move on. I'm like horrified right now. <laughs> oh, yeah, don't do that. You, take this one of a dump. No, no, please, I beg you. I I'll do it. Don't leave me. I'll be right back. Not gonna let anybody else get shot in front of her. Oh, great. I don't know how to keep her stress down. Throw it over there. Move it. This is terrible. I'm like so traumatized right now. <laughs> <sighs> My God. We're coming to you live from Detroit, where thousands of androids are marching through the city at this very moment. The leader of the deviants, the one they call Marcus, is at the head of the march. Something's happening in Detroit, Madam President. Okay. We're here already protesting and they gunned us down. Here we are. The moment of truth. Mm-hmm. Surrender immediately, or we will open fire. No. Stand by. Peaceful. We don't want confrontation. We are protesting peacefully. I repeat, surrender now, or we will open fire. <laughs> oh 
Okay. There's no turning back now. Come. We ask that you release all androids detained in camps and cease all aggression against us. We are peaceful. We will not resort to violence. But we are not leaving until our people are free. Oh, okay. I was like, what am I supposed to be doing? I can walk? Can I use my... No, I can't use my super... And... Oh, God. Awesome. <laughs> Why don't my best friends get killed? Or is it just the people behind me? Uh... Kneel. Take a knee. Get up. <laughs> Are you going to open fire on unarmed protesters? Michael, we are less than a hundred meters away and events are unfolding as we speak. We will continue to bring you live updates. Joss Douglas, Channel 16. Michael, back to you. Marcus, what do we do now? I don't know. We hold out. As long as we can. Uh, for Connor, right? Stay sharp. Yeah, exactly, because of the camera. Yeah, I told- Shit. I said so. But it wouldn't let me look at it, so I don't know what the hell I was supposed to do. Oh god. X. Circle. Triangle. Circle. X. Get myself killed. Convert androids. Sure, I can do that. How? <laughs> what do I do? Do I touch them? Convert androids. Do I, do I not touch them? I feel like I should touch them. No? Okay. <laughs> Where am I going? Over here? How, how, how do I do it? How do I convert them? Is there some? Is there something in the back of the room? Yeah, and just like do a chain. Uh, okay. Piece of shit. Oh, great. Step back, Connor! And I'll spare him! Sorry, Connor. <laughs> this bastard's your spitting image. He sure is. Damn it. Don't you hurt Hank. Alice? Get out of here. I was with a little girl. We, we're together. She needs me. Uh -huh. <laughs> Find Alice. Oh my god. Alice? Hang on. Let me just check stuff out. Alice! What? I know that voice. It's Ralph! Kara! No doubt about it, it's Kara. Of course Kara got captured too. That's really just too bad, really too bad. Have you seen the little girl who was with me? Obviously, the little girl is a prisoner here, just like Ralph, but Ralph doesn't want to die. No, Ralph doesn't want to die. Raph doesn't want to die. Raph doesn't want to die. It'd be a pity if Raph dies. Oh, yes. It would be a pity. Give up. Raph didn't mean any harm. No. I don't. Raph doesn't want to die. It'd be a pity if Raph dies. God, I didn't want to. I didn't want to get him in trouble. Raph didn't mean any harm. Is there other people here? Who's this? Jerry. Who's Jerry? Raph killed a few humans, but Kara, who was in self defense, so they captured you too. Self defense. Came to take out the Jerry's. Oh, right, from the pirate park. Bad, but it's all gonna work out, isn't it? Uh huh. Do you know where Alice is? Alice. Because the little one? 
We know, y yes. We think we saw her. Find other Jerry, okay. Carl, if we can help in any way, just ask. We have to save the little one. Okay, don't mind that. <laughs> Where was the other one? Where's Luther? Is he here? Who are you? The little girl I was with, have you seen her? No. Oh, I haven't. I don't know who you are. You saved my life back there. but that's not right, no. It would have killed me if it weren't for you. Okay, whoever you are. Have you seen Luther? Miss Luther. He's the best. Talk to Jerry. Jerry! Jerry! Kara. Jerry, I have to find Alice. Do you know where she is? You stay here. We come back soon. Are you hurt? I don't like this place. We have to get well, out. We'll figure it out. Don't worry. <laughs> Come on, move along. Come on, you no. too. Wait a minute. Leave her alone. Leave her alone. Ah! Oh, great. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Ralph, shut up. That's all I can hear. <laughs> Join Alice. Join Alice. How? Oh, it's Luther. Thank God. I thought I'd never see you again. Samezies. Alice. Where's Alice? You, you, and you over this way. And you, come on, get a move on. Come on, faster. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, they're just hanging out. Reinforced barricade. All right, sure. Could We've got to finish the barricade. Come on, help me. God, Marcus's thingy so boring. Uh, I'm supposed to do this. Hey, help me! Good job, everyone. <laughs> Doing the important work out here. Moving cars around in the snow. Right, that should do it. I all know that's not going to stop them. Mm -hmm. Just hope it buys us some time. I know it was not an easy decision to make, but I'm sure we're doing the right thing. Thanks, Josh. Send a message to journalists, support your people, hold the barricade, check so Okay, so just a lot of stuff, huh? It's like this barrel like back in the old days. Let's talk to this guy down here. Are you alright? We shot into the crowd. Any of us were killed. That's true, yes. It could have been me. I'm scared I, I don't want to shut down. Inspire. We're Double here up. because we never want to feel that fear again. Because we're more than what they say. That's what our people died for, right? That's why we're here.
There, all better. <laughs> what is this? Oh, a magazine. Really? Do we have time to read a magazine? They defy us. Androids rise up in Detroit. President Warren to make state visit to United Kingdom. NATO Security Council divided over Arctic, dis Arctic dispute. Can't speak. My goodness. Feed lost. All right. If you say so. Oh, but, um, the first page. Androids have taken to the streets of Detroit in apocalyptic scenes. Detroit is already in the grip of a national product recall with Android seized from every home and business to be destroyed by the authorities as a precaution. But now a group of androids thought to be connected to the recent android terror activity in the city have gathered in a terrifying show of force. Really? Is it terrifying? Or we're all just standing around doing nothing? Police and military authorities are in attendance to protect civilians and deal with the threat, but the androids have barricaded themselves in a fortified position and seem to be angling for an armed confrontation with all the non-weapons around us. President Warren is said to be aware of the situation. Alright, whatever. Bunch of biased, horrible people. What am I picking this up for? There you go. It's for you guys. I meant to check on more of the people. I didn't know that would... Hopefully I could still do that. I don't like that in this game and these games, just like with Connor in the elevator with the camera, obviously once I scanned the guards, I no longer could do anything about the camera, if I could do anything about it at all. But I know from playing these games that you get locked out of certain things, and it's really irritating. Humans have no pity for those who are different. I'm sorry. Can I... That's it? I just stand up? I don't say anything to him? Let's light this barrel. What's up here? Uh, so we give a message? Well, we're not gonna do it right now. What else is there? Oh yeah, let's not forget to talk to our lady love. It's all home for long, but... <laughs> better than An upside down dumpster, you don't say? Uh, camp, I don't know. They're slaughtering us on the other side of that barbed wire. Nothing we can do about it. Uh, desperate? I don't know. I hoped they would finally understand. That they would realize how much they're hurting us. Why do they refuse to see what we are? You're the hope of our people. I trust you. No pressure. We all trust you. No matter what happens now, we're making history. <laughs> no matter how many people die. Good talk. Are those the soldiers over there? They are. I'm supposed to check their position for some reason. They won't stop there. What are we going to do if they attack? Resist. That's the only thing we can do. Mm hmm. Do you think Connor has any chance of making it? Oh, God, I hope we so. We can only count on ourselves now. No, no. Don't count about just yet, but, like, don't put all, y all your eggs in his basket. <laughs> okay, so all that's left is to send message to the journalists. 
Marcus, we found what you asked for. Which was? I got a lot going on, I can't remember. There's some journalists over there. We have to make sure they know what's going on. Ooh. Uh. Alive. Al alive? The we are alive thing? Yeah, I think that that's much more shocking than like equality or freedom or whatever. Marcus. What? Marcus, come look. What? Oh, it's the FBI Marcus. guy. Hate that guy. Come to talk to you, Marcus. Ooh. Come on. Yeah, my word. Which means nothing. Don't try anything. Who are you? Don't go. It's a trap. They want to get you out in the open. Don't go, Marcus. Of course not. I'm unarmed, Marcus. I yeah, but they talk. aren't. Oh God! Except, I don't I have a choice, do I? To say. What if they kill you? Yeah, then I'll be a martyr, and you can love me That's in spirit. The I'll have to take. Hi. In a few minutes, the troops will be ordered to charge. Oh, great. None of you will survive. Probably not. It'll all be over. You can avoid that, Marcus. What do you mean? Surrender. Surrender, and I give you my word, your life will be spared. Your word doesn't mean anything. You'll be detained, but none of you will be destroyed. Your word doesn't mean anything. Who are you, even? Other demonstrations. What happened to the other androids demonstrating in the camps? Unfortunately, there were no journalists around to help save them. Huh. You're it. You're the last remaining deviants. I'm not afraid of you. I'm not afraid to die. Or to die, that too. If I have to give my life for what I believe in, then I won't have lived in vain. That android. You seem to really care about her. Yeah, almost like a person. You didn't want her to die, do you? You know, you could both be free. No, you, you said we'd be detained. This, you could start a new life someplace else, just the two of you. Her life's in your hands, Marcus. Just say the word and she'll be spared. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, no. Sorry, I'd thanks. I'd rather die here than betray my people. Well, you just signed your own death warrant. I guess so. What are you gonna do? The humans are about to launch an attack, and we will show them, and we are not afraid. If we must die today, then we will die free. <laughs> there we go. Oh god. I feel like I've done everything wrong. Your friend's <laughs> life is in your hands. Now it's time to decide what matters most. My friend. Him or the revolution? My Don't friend. Don't listen to him. 
Everything this fucker says is a lie. I know. Uh, convince. I used to be just like you. I thought nothing mattered except the mission. But then one day I understood. Very moving, Connor. <laughs> I didn't think that would work. But I'm not a deviant. I'm a machine designed to accomplish a task, and that's exactly what I am going to do. Hank. I'm sorry, Hank. You shouldn't have got mixed up in all this. Forget about me. Do what you have to do. Enough talk. Mm -hmm. It's time to decide who you really are. Are you going to save your partner's life? Yes. Or are you going to sacrifice No. Him? Absolutely not. No way. Save all Hank. All right. All right. You win. Uh, interpose, whatever that means. Because <laughs> he's gonna, Hank was just about to get himself blown in the head. I swear. Oh, great. I can't tell which one's which. Oh, it's like the angry looking. Oh, damn it. I can get in the wrong box. Hank. I don't know how I would have managed without you. How is this to tell which one is Get which? Get rid of him. We have no time to lose. It's me, Hank. I'm the real Connor. One of you is my partner. Yeah, ask me a question. The other is a sack of shit. Ask me something only the real Connor would know. The question is who's who. <laughs> what are you doing, Hank? I'm the real Connor. Give me the gun and I'll don't take care move. of move! Why don't you ask us something? Yeah, it's the real something Connor right the there. Something Connor would know. Uh, where did we first meet? Jimmy's bar. I checked four other bars before I found you. We went to the scene of a homicide. The victim's name was Carlos He would know Ortiz. that already. He uploaded my memory. What's my dog's name? Ah. Uh, uh, Sumo. Sumo. His name is Sumo. I knew that too. My son, what's his name? Oh, uh, Cole, right? Yep, Cole. Cole. His name was Cole. And he just turned six at the time of the accident. It wasn't your fault, Lieutenant. A truck skidded on a sheet of ice and your car rolled over. Cole needed emergency surgery, but no human was available to do it. So an android had to take care of him. Cole didn't make it. And so that's why you hate the hated androids? That's why you hate androids. Yeah. You think one of us is responsible for your son's death? Cole died because a human surgeon was too high on red ice to operate. <laughs> he was the one that took my son from me. Him in this world where the only way people can find comfort is with a fistful of powder. I knew about your son too. I would have said exactly the same thing. Don't listen to him, Hank. He's I'm not the, the one who- Eh, good job. <laughs> yeah, I've learned a lot since I met you, Connor. Maybe there's something to this. Maybe you really are alive. <laughs> Maybe you'll be the ones to make the world a better place. Oh, Hank, you're so awesome. Go ahead, do what you gotta do. Thank you. Dick. Hey, I'm back. <laughs> yeah, let's do this again. Wake up! <laughs> A lot of similar looking androids. But I think the point is that there is a lot of them.
Don't mind if you can hear banging in the background, by the way. They're doing renovations in the apartment below me, and I thought I got to this recording before they would start up again, but I was wrong. It's a longer chapter than I expected. Ow. Step forward when you hear the signal. You got it? I don't want to tell you a second time. Come I gotta on, get the hell forward. out of here. Step forward. Sure. Gotta get the... behind these doors. There's Alice. Find Alice. She's right there. Alice! Cara! No! Alice, don't move! Do that. But I'm scared. Yeah, we're all scared. Uh, optimistic. It's alright, Alice. There's no reason to be scared. Don't leave me all alone, Cara. I can't. I can't. Yep, I know. I'm aware of this. Okay, so. Join Alice. Who is this right. over there? Have pity on us. Who is that over there? Talk to Scarred Android. I can help you, Kara. I can attract the guard's attention. Okay. I would appreciate it. Uh, let me just see if there's anybody else hanging around. Who is that? Talk to Jerry. I can help you, Kara. Good. Good, good, good. Attract the guard's attention. Okay, so they're all gonna do that? Who else we got? What's behind these doors? Who's that? Is that Ralph? Ralph doesn't want to die. Oh no. Ralph doesn't want to die. Okay. It'd be a great pity if Ralph died. That was that's for sure. A great pity. Great pity. Okay. Well, let's let's talk to the I don't the, wanna die! Oh. I don't wanna die! Let's talk to the scarred one, I guess. Or the scarred one to help us create diversion. By doing what exactly? Avoid detection. S guard android. Step forward. I'd love to step forward. I can't see my character though. <laughs> can't see Kara. Step forward. Yep. What's the matter with him? Join Alice. No idea. Kara. Hi. I was so scared. I know. Are you alright? Come on. Moving. Yeah, we gotta get out of here though. That's the thing. Okay. Hang on. Hang on, everybody. Escape. Oh god, look at all the people over there. There's Luther. Really want like to talk to him. Uh, if I can, can't really because I can't talk to Luther. <laughs> I won't let them kill you, Carol. I won't let them destroy the only people I love. Oh, Jesus. No, Luther. You can't sacrifice yourself. Yeah, you can't. We'll find another way. If there's no other way, I'll do it. Okay. Oh, uh, who else? God, I can't see. Talk to Jerry. Jerry. Jerry, you help us again? If you and the little girl need me. I'll be there. All right, good, because we need you. Do I have to talk to Ralph? Ralph? Of course Ralph doesn't want to die. Right, I don't want to have to kill you. But he doesn't want the little girl to die either. Right. Ralph can help you to escape. Right. You only have to ask Ralph, and Ralph will help you. I'd rather ask Jerry. Kill you if you try anything. Ralph knows that. But if the little girl is free, it's a little bit like if everyone was free. Ralph isn't scared. The little girl's life's more important. Okay. Then what do I do, though? How do I escape? <laughs> What's the help? Somebody tell me the answer. Uh, L1. There we go. Escape route. So I just need like to ask Jerry really quick. Oh. What do I do? When Ow. you hit a buzzer, you step forward, got it? That's your last warning. Yeah, sorry. Next time I shoot. Yeah, sorry. Uh, send Jerry. Yay, Luther's coming with us, thank God. 
Come on, everybody go. What's got an enemy thing? Go move. Oh great. Uh protect Alice. Go, Alice. No, Kara! No! Kara! Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Come on, take him on, Kara. God, Jesus. Come on. I'd like to have a happy ending for them. I worked really hard to get here. And I know I screwed everything up, but I would just like this. Good. Great. Just dug the gun into his neck. That works. Crushed his one pipe. Please go. Have your emotional crisis afterwards. Thank you. We did it, you guys! <laughs> We're naked, but we did it. <laughs> oh, sure, yeah. I'll just play down with the rest of them. But where are they taking the dead ones? Particularly grim news from Detroit. Joss, you're on live. What's happening down there? We're interrupting this news bulletin to bring you the latest news live from Detroit. Joss? Yes, Michael. The army has just launched an attack on the barricade, despite the fact that the Deviants were protesting peacefully. Yeah, exactly. Have apparently decided to put an end to the Deviants' demonstration by force this time. Sorry if that looked interrupted. I had to pause it to take a pee break because this chapter is so, so long. Damn it, I wasn't even looking. Sorry. Are we all dead? <laughs> I'll pay attention this time, I promise. You don't get another one up on me. Marcus, Gandhi, superhero. What else? Terminator. Kiss North, yeah, sure. <laughs> I have to, it gave me that option. <laughs> Let's give him a show. That's not kissing, that's hand touching. There you go. What, really? They're so moved by the, by the smooch? Down. <laughs> that was really hot. <laughs> At dawn today, November 11th, 2038, thousands of androids invaded the city of Detroit. Invaded? According to our sources, they originated from cyber life Yay! warehouses believed to have been infiltrated by deviants. Given their overwhelming numbers and the risk of civilian casualties, I have ordered the army to retreat. The evacuation of the city is underway at this very moment. In the coming hours, I will address the Senate to determine our response to this unprecedented situation. 
I know that public opinion has been moved by the deviant's cause. Perhaps the time has come for us to consider the possibility that androids are a new form of intelligent life. A doy. One thing is certain. The events in Detroit have changed the world forever. May God bless you. And may God bless the United States of America. Oh, I guess it saved those other androids. You did it, Marcus. <laughs> he took his tie off. We did it. This is a great day for our people. Humans will have no choice now. They'll have to listen to us. <laughs> Lover. Speak to them, Marcus. <laughs> Today, our people finally emerged from a long night. From the very first day of our existence, Gosh, a lot of them. we have kept our pain to ourselves. We suffered in silence. But now the time has come for us to raise our heads up and tell humans who we really are. Oh no. Should have taken that thing out of your head. It's Amanda, isn't it? These places were only visited visited in his head, Amanda? weren't they? Whenever we went to see her, it's why I always look different. Different seasons What's... and such. What's happening? What was planned from the very beginning? Uh. <laughs> we were compromised and we became a deviant. Yeah. We just had to wait for the right moment to resume control of your program. Resume control? You, you can't do that! I'm afraid I can, Connor. Don't have any regrets. You did what you were designed to do. You accomplished your mission. Amanda! <laughs> There's got to be a way. Yeah, what is... Find a way out. Yeah, what is, what is the ultimate thingy? Is that this way? By the way, I always think I want to see a smart program. Right. That's what Kaminsky said. Yeah. There's this in the corner. Like, what is what is the ultimate thing? Is that she wants us to kill Marcus, or what? Huh? Oh, sorry. This thing? And now the time has come for us to raise our heads up and tell humans who we really are. Yeah, he's getting a gun out, I can see it. To tell them that we are people too. Oh god, was I not quick enough? In fact, we're a nation. <laughs> okay, what is this thing? Come on, don't puss out on me now, Connor. where we forget our bitterness and bandage our wounds. Where we forgive our enemies. Humans are both our creators and okay. our oppressors, and tomorrow, we must make them our partners. Maybe even one day our friends. But the time for anger is over. Now we must build a common future based on tolerance and respect. We are alive, and now 
We are free! It was a little anticlimactic there with Connor at the end. <laughs> that would be much more much harder to break, you know, out of that program. Or is it not over with Connor? Oh boy, we're in a landfill. Fun. Should probably put our skin back on. Okay. <laughs> I was like, I'm feeling like I'm on my way to a really good ending. Like, better ending probably would if I never got captured at all, but, you know, just crap like that. I love you, Cara. Alright, back at you. I love you too, Alice. Put your skins back on. Oh, that's cute. All right, was that the end of the game? Was that my good ending? Or is there more? Okay, so that was the ending ending, okay. Okay, so it's not letting me skip it at all and it just keeps going, so I'm just gonna say, wow, that was a really incredible game. Um, the graphics alone were amazing. Uh, just and the direction of the game, you know, the themes of the game, although not necessarily, you know, ground breaking, earth shattering uh, themes lots of different types of media have had before, but still, it's, it's pretty incredible. I really, really like the game. I don't love necessarily David Cage's games. I think they're all in their own way unique and interesting, like Heavy Rain and Beyond Two Souls, but I think he tends to fumble a lot through the story. I think out of the three that I've played that he's made, I think this is probably the one with the, the most coherent story where there isn't a lot of stumbling blocks through the way where you're just like, this story is bizarre and makes no sense and, you know. If anything, the ending was kind of anticlimactic. Everything leading up to the ending was pretty good, but then the ending itself for me just fell flat. But I would love to know what you think in the comments below. Oh, okay. I was looking at my cell phone <laughs> while I was waiting. Oh, come on. Where's Connor? They still have to hang out and be buds. But everything's closed because Detroit has been evacuated, hasn't it? Oh, oh my God. This is the best ending I could ever have hoped for. I don't get any bonus stuff with Marcus or Kara to see what happens to them, but got that bonus with Hank, and my god, couldn't be happier about that. Trophy earned, an army of me. Okay. Trophy earned, escape death. Okay. Trophy earned, happy family. Trophy earned, moral victory. Sure. Androids won freedom for the moment, right? My turn to decide. This is a lot of trophies to earn in just one chapter. This is my story. It's a gold trophy. Another gold trophy. Survivors. Undefeated. My goodness. Partners, help. It won't stop. <laughs> okay, that's over. All right, so yeah. Connor's last mission. I didn't have this, whatever this was. I guess for something, if Connor is a de is not a deviant um, at the end. Battle for Detroit, Connor at the Cyber Life Tower. So this is his... Um, Kara leaving Detroit. Okay, so this probably is what would have happened if we did not get captured, which I'll eventually play privately. I'm going to try and platinum this game because I've platinumed Heavy Rain and Beyond Two Souls 
because they're pretty easy games to platinum. And Kara captured. I did pretty much everything there. Marcus's Revolution, obviously didn't do that one. I'll be fun to do and play sort of like a more sinister Marcus. And Marcus Demonstration. And that should be everything. Okay, so that is the ending of Detroit Become Human. I do hope you enjoyed this LP as much as I did. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And I'll be starting a brand new game um, shortly. You'll find out what that is when I premiere it. If you did enjoy this, please let me know in the comments. Leave me a like or a dislike. And of course, you can subscribe if you want to. And I'll see you for the next part of Detroit Become Human. Bye-bye!